Hey everybody, it's Joyce here and welcome to my channel. So I kind of wanted to, I've been needing to do this and I wanted to talk about conjure in um, results in the magic and power behind hoodoo root work and other magics. Okay basically is what I want to talk about. And this is regarding results, whether you're getting results or not. Um, not just that, but overall, how to get results, the results that you want in Conjure. Okay. So my ammonia jar video, hi Rose, my ammonia jar video is like, the most popular video. Um, and I wanted to kind of go over because I get so many questions and I have for so long and I really needed to come out here and talk about this. Hi, Ladybug. Hi, Sky. Hi, a pony. Hi, you guys, my beautiful tribe. How are you guys doing? I'm glad to see you, Ladybug and a Pony, again. Sky, I don't know if you missed my uh, tarot stream just now on my other channel, but you can watch the replay. It was a pick a card tonight, plus Super Chat immediately following. But what I, let me make sure, okay. What I wanted to do is come on here. First, I want to address ammonia jars. So, you guys, hey, Annette, it's good to see you here. Welcome to my second house. <laughs> so, I'm going to talk about ammonia jars first, okay? And an ammonia jar working is a reversal spell work, okay? It's a reversal. So the thing is, in a reversal, you are going to, whatever your situation is, okay, you want to reverse what's happening. Say whatever it is that's happening. Um, let's make up something hypothetically to give you guys a good example. You're doing spells tonight. Awesome, Rose. What are you doing spells on? So the thing when you're doing reversal work, let's just say, mm, um, let's just say I don't know, let's say um my best friend wants to go to Florida without me. And I, I really want to go to Florida. I want to go so bad. I'm just using this as just, <laughs> I want to go to Florida. Oh man, I want to go. I want to drink my pina colada. I want to do this and that and the other thing. And my friend knows I want to go, but they're not inviting me for whatever reason it is. Oh shit, I got to make this happen. And they're packing up. They're ready to roll. Well, mm -mm. I still have three days four days at the most. Let's just say, let's just say, and I want to go, I'm going to change this. I will be invited and I am going to fucking Florida. So I do the, the jar because I'm like, I'm getting that invite. Like nobody's like inviting me. She's not invited. He's not inviting me, whoever. And I'm going, I'm going to reverse this to, from being uninvited and unwelcome to being invited and welcome. All right. I'm just using this as a hypothetical example. It could be any situation. So I start doing this. Well, guess what? I know I'm going to be invited. I know this jar is working and I know they are going, this person is going to feel compelled, not, I hope, I wish, I want. No, they will be. And I'm starting to pack my shit now because I know I'm going, well, guess what happens on day number, well, three. Let's just say day number two and day number three, I get the phone call. Joyce, what? I don't know what I was thinking. 
but girl, I want you to come. You are more than welcome to come on this trip. I am so sorry to be asking you at a late date, late hour like this. But if you want to come, come. You're more than welcome to come with us. Of course you can. You know, it doesn't matter of whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, you are welcome. You are coming. You are going. Good. I knew that. I finally got the call. And I know. All right. Uh, somebody wants somebody back. All right. So hear me out on this one. Let's say the situation is somebody wants their lover back. Okay. Yes, you can do it with an ammonia jar. But, but, and there's a big but here. For something like that, because if this, everything depends on, the, how the person feels about you, what's happened in your relationship, what are they doing behind your back that you don't know or outside of what you do know their business to be, what they're up to, what their intentions are, who they may be involved with now, whatever the case may be. Are they on drugs or not? What is motivating their actions? I mean, there's so, so many variables here. Okay. Think about this. Magic takes the path of least resistance. What is magic? In my terminology, in my view of magic, it's energy. What are intentions? Energy. What are we made of? Energy. Okay. So I'm focused. I know what I want. I want this. Okay, sure, I get them back, but wait a minute. That doesn't change the fact that they're doing drugs, being a drunk, screwing around, still have somebody on the side. They're still the same person. Now I brought them back to treat me like shit. <laughs> I get to put up with more shit. They're back. They did exactly what I wanted them to do. They return. I... And, you know, okay, so I want them to come back and do this, this, and this. So I have to make different jars because I have to focus one intention on this, one intention on this, one intention on this, one intention on this. Okay, so basically what I feel is do the jar to make that person turn around, reverse, but you can't reverse everything. You can influence in other ways, but you can't per se reverse something. You can remove, you can compel certain things. Yes, but it's going to take something different than an ammonia jar, guys. An ammonia jar is good to reverse a situation if it is a legitimately... <laughs> If it's legitimately able to be reversed, if you have to completely change something, that's not a reversal. You need other work. I feel for me, anytime I do works for clients or even in my own life, I use, I use a jar every time, but I use it in conjunction with other work that I'm doing. Because I know for there is no doubt in my head that this is going to happen. And I'm going to put everything I have into it. And I'm going to give it all the force needed, all the influence and, com and being compelled to what I want, whether it's for my benefit. Well, it'll always be for my benefit or the client's benefit, but it may not be in the most positive or maybe it is something positive. It just depends on what it is. You know, what kind of, what type of work I should say. But it does take more than an ammonia jar sometimes for certain things. It just does. You can work an ammonia jar for any situation. However, be realistic. Can this situation, no matter what it is, be reversed into a positive for you? What are the specifics of the situation of the person, what they're doing, that, 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 that? Their outside influences, what are they? Um, are they in love with somebody else? What you going to do with that? 
Oh, I'm going to reverse that love. Okay. It's going to take more than it, it to me. Any situation, yeah, any type. But it doesn't mean that every single solitary thing is going to use an ammonia jar. It just is not going to work that way. You need other influences besides that. You can influence some of it, some aspects of a situation to be reversed, but the others need to be compelled differently is what I'm saying, guys. Also, do understand that, you know, most of what I do is love work. Okay, let me uh, love relationship situations. I do divorces. I have. Um, I've separated people. I've brought people together. Okay. Hear me and follow what I'm saying. All right. I did not use an ammonia jar for 98% of that. I used other jars along with other workings. Um, magic takes the path of least resistance. There are so many things. People create so much shit in their life. It's unreal. I, as a practitioner, have to go around all this stuff. All of it. Boop, 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 boop. Many, many things. A lot of the times my client doesn't realize that these particular obstacles are in the way. Okay. Well, guess what? Guess what? The energy has to overtake and go and make detours, get around that path. Yes, we do clearings where we open the doors, open the roads so that the path is made clear. That is not an overnight dream. Okay. This is energy. This is not Harry Potter. My wand doesn't say bibbity bobbity boo and the road's clear. Everything's great. And everything's going to happen like that. <sighs> Some works take days. Some take weeks. A lot of works take months. It just depends on the situation. It depends on what's going on. It depends on all the details that, yes, they do matter. Yes, they matter. Okay. Patience is needed when you are a client. Okay. Because this is not Harry Potter or bewitched. Can't happen that way. And if it could, damn, the world would be different. You have to have faith and know this is working. Period. It doesn't matter if, okay, you get me to do this for you. The whole time, you have to be in a state of, you know, this is working. You expect it to work. You know that this is going to happen for you. Don't get pissed off and discouraged and change your mind in the middle of everything about how you want, what you feel, blah, 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 too bad. <laughs> What's doing is doing, boo. And if I, I can't just stop in the middle of a work and change it on a whim. It doesn't work that way. Make damn sure of what you want. Before you ask for it, before you want to call this in, make sure of what you want, focus on it, be sure this is what you want because the drive will be powerful. Your energy is raised. If you want love, you want your lover to return to you, great. Don't get pissed off at him because guess what? You have to also be in the energy of receiving and loving and nurturing and wanting that love and wanting to give that love. You have to have a love energy. This is workings for you. Okay. Your energy is extremely important or you will create obstacles and blocks and crap that we don't need in this. Therefore, it could either A, take a lot longer to get to you. Don't look at me. Or two, not happen at all because you slammed the door. Boop, I got pissed off and guess what? Boop, but where is it? Why isn't it here? 
You looking at me? Really? No. Also understand, even with someone who has the best energy in the world, we don't know what's happening in that person's life that you are unaware of that makes the route take longer. Okay? The less shit they're going, they're doing, let's say somebody, you break up with somebody. You want to get back together. They love you. They're not involved with someone else. They're just at home brooding over, did I make the right choice or not? Well, you know what? That's so simple to compel back to you. Boom. But if they are doing other things, being with other people, moving in with other people, living with them, married to other people, whatever, yes, that's going to take longer. Sorry, it will. It's not to say it's not going to happen, but it will take longer. The first example of this person loves you, they're not with anyone else. You're still in the heart, in the mind. They are basically existing on this planet. They go to work. They go home. They visit family. That's about it. They're not tied or bound to anyone else. They do still have feelings for you. You know, just something that's going to come in so much faster. And you in the energy of receiving and loving this person, yeah. But if you're in the energy of repel, like negative energy, you're repelling what I'm trying to bring to you because you're impatient. What's the point? I'm, you know, I mean, your part in this is to stay focused, stay positive. And I know it's hard, but guess what? It's part of the work. Your energy is a big part of the work or you will shut it down or delay it longer from getting there. Then you're really going to be aggravated. Okay, getting off my tangent, let me revert back to ammonia jars. Yes, you need ammonia. Ammonia. For an ammonia jar, you need ammonia. Some countries do not have ammonia. Well, then you need to look at another avenue, a different jar work or a different work completely for your situation. There are many, many, many. Trust me, there are other routes you can take. Ammonia jars. Hear me, people. Ammonia jar. You need ammonia. Yes. Some people ask me, can they use some type of ammonia crystals? I have never used or heard of ammonia crystals before. So I am not going to tell you that works. I know what works for an ammonia jar, which is regular, plain Jane, liquid ammonia in a gallon jug. It could be the scented lemon, whatever or the unscented regular stuff, but ammonia liquid in a jug, ammonia. That's what I know works. That's what other people that I know of have done ammonia jars. They know it works. I'm not going to speak for other things that I've never heard of or used before and say it works. I'm not doing that. If you cannot get your hands on the main ingredient of a working Look for another working. There are so many. It is pathetic. You can find something else. Do that. Don't ask me if you could use shit. That's just completely not what I spoke of at all. Like completely not. I cannot attest for that. You have to look for something completely a whole different work. An ammonia jar is an ammonia jar, period, in the story. That's where it starts and stops, ammonia jar, okay? <laughs> I just wanted to make that shit clear. <laughs> you know, you cannot doubt it. I hear don't work with death because you will pay for some things. You will. Okay, you know, a lot of people, Manuela, work with, different spirits, different deities, different, 
you know, they, they just have their own spirit team that they work with. And the people that I know, you know, I feel that you're talking about the Holy Death, the Santa Merte. You know, you have to really educate yourself on deities and spirit um, before you get involved with these different spirits and deities. You really have to educate yourself on exactly what they do what their part is and what they expect in offerings. And so you can know how to honor your deities, honor these spirits. Some will work with you. Others will not. So you have to basically meditate on that. Pray about that. You have to call out and ask, you know, if, you can work with this particular deity or spirit. Okay. Some will not. There are, there's one in particular, and I, I don't know why it is, but I have issues with Saint Expedite. Saint Expedite will not work with me. I do not know why. I have researched Saint Expedite in and out, and Saint Expedite totally. But others will work with me very well. St. Anthony works with me very, very well. St. Barbara works with me very, very well. My mom, Brigitte, who is St. Bridget um, of Ireland, works with me very, very well. I go to source for a lot of things directly. Um, and I do get results. So I see the signs, especially my mom, Brigitte. Brigitte was very, very powerful in her communications with me. Um, so some deities, some spirits will not, some saints will not work with you. Others will. They have their reasoning. Okay. Um, there are different, what is the best cutting cords or soul ties? I do. I have never cut cords. Um, I personally have never done anything to cut cords. There is, I learned about this a few years back about a full moon ritual um, to cut cords. But since then, I've also discovered the waning moon is really good to cut cords because that's a release. You know, that moon energy is to release. And if you want to cut cords, you want to release yourself. So you might want to research those rituals. OK, they are not difficult to do, but you might want to prepare and get the details on that because I have not done those. OK. Nobody has ever even asked me to cut cords for them, except one person. I take that back. One person a while, a couple years ago. Um, but the way I did that, it was the type of working it was. The way I separated them um, was not a cutting cords. It was more of a separation, cut and clear that I feel. And that's probably the same thing, cutting cords and cutting clear. You're cutting it out and clearing it away is basically what I did. So I separated them and I basically put them on different sides of the world and it worked. So, you know, and... Kits, Kitsune, Kitsune, NYX, Kitsune Nix, or I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. You've worked with Santa Merte for years and she's always been amazing. A lot of people have great results with her. However, I understand she's an extremely demanding spirit. And you have to really please her. Now, if you can be devoted every day to pleasing your spirits, be sure you understand and know what they demand 
if their hot spirits are cold, meaning hot saints, cold saints, meaning cold, they're not very demanding, very mild, very easygoing, you know, will work with pretty much anybody. Hot, hot saints, hot spirits, they are particular and they are very demanding and it, you better deliver. You better have everything that they like and they want and they want it. And I mean, you got to pay a lot of attention to them, give them a lot of gratitude and thanks, pay homage to them every day. So you have to be dedicated on this path if you're going to work with certain spirits and deities. Yes, they do assist in all workings, every single one. Every single one. Whoever it is you're working with, they will, but you have to provide offerings. You have a responsibility to them. Okay. For laymen who are not experienced in this tradition, in this practice, sometimes you luck out and things work out well. Most of the times you don't. There are many details and facets into the practice of the occult of spirituality, whatever you want to call it. I mainly lean on hoodoo tradition. However, I have been known to pull from other practices, little tidbits of this and that and combine things, which I am doing actually this weekend. Um, I'm going to do something that I know how to do. I know how to do a lot of different things, but I won't do certain things. So I'm kind of getting out of that comfort zone and delving into some other things because I want to add more power to two of the workings that I have going for clients. So understand. And yeah, I have jars for them too. Okay. I have jars for them too. And it's not that I don't think that they're working. I do. I just like to give for me, I want it fast and I want it hard. I shouldn't maybe said that like that, but that's how I want it. As fast as it can move to you, I want it there and I want it to be full force, all energy, all power. And I want it like, bam, that's how I operate. All right. We're getting this and we're getting it now. Period in the story. That's my focus. That's what I'm doing. And I know of certain things that will make that happen faster with more power not that what I have isn't good. It's perfect. You have to have a line of communication. You have to have certain aspects at play to throw in more play. You understand? People need to understand a lot of shit before. And that's why I have consultations before I do workings for people, because I want you to understand. Don't wake up tomorrow thinking that man's going to be in your bed again. Don't wake up tomorrow thinking you're going to have a million dollars in your bank account. Don't wake up tomorrow morning thinking that this is an overnight sensation. It is not. Okay. It is energy manipulation. It is energy. Understand faith based energy. You know, it's real. You know, it's going to work. You have no doubt. You expect it. When you place your order at a restaurant, do you doubt that they're going to bring you the food? No, you don't. Do you doubt they're going to give you a check for it? No, you don't. You expect it. You place your order. You know it's coming. You expect it. You don't worry about it. You think about it. Oh, I'm so hungry. I can't wait to eat that food. Oh, my food's going to be here in a few minutes. And then it shows up and you eat. Then you get the check. What part of that did you doubt during that experience? Treat it the same way. You put in your order with the universe. You put in your order with your practitioner, whoever you got to do whatever you need them to do. Expect the results. Expect it to come to your table. Expect it to be at your door. Expect it to be in your bed. Expect it to be in your house. Expect it to belong to you because it does. So that's the thing. All right. It's not going to happen at that moment. Some things, like I said, come in faster. Some it, some it takes longer because of the obstacles that the universe has to go around to make it happen, to bring it to you. You have to understand that. All right. And understand ammonia jars, you need ammonia. Don't ask me if you could use snap, crackle, and pop. I don't care about snap, crackle, and pop when I'm talking about an ammonia jar. It's an ammonia jar. It's a reversal. P 
period, end of story. <laughs> Hi, Chip. Just want to say excellent interpretation, unexpected results. Well, I'm glad. I mean, I know I sound a little rough right now, guys, and I'm so apologetic for that. However, you have no clue the influx of emails from all over the world. Literally, I have, <laughs> I'm serious, especially around Romania, um, all these Slavic type areas where apparently they cannot get ammonia like we do. Then you cannot do an ammonia jar. Okay, then you need to look at something else. Take another avenue. There are hundreds, if not thousands of ways to get the result you want. It does not have to be an ammonia jar. <sighs> Please understand that. And don't ask me if you could use other shit. No, I don't put vinegar in my gas tank and expect my damn car to run. You understand? I need gasoline. I need oil in my car. Okay. I can't put vinegar and lime juice in my car and expect that shit to work. You understand? There are certain things you got to do. <laughs> do I do sex magic? For clients, no. For me, yes. That's a very good question because that's a great way to manifest anything you want and help keep your energy level high is through sex magic. Self-pleasure will bring you a higher level of energy and you want your energy high because you want to project that energy out. And at the point of climax, you are focusing, well, as you're building up to it, you're focusing on what you want, the end result, not the details of how it's going to get there, the end result. Okay, the end result of what you want in your life, no matter what it is, sex magic is the way to go to raise your energy. I'm telling you, it does work. You know. Right. Exactly. You know, and it's one of those things. It's a private thing. Hey, Marco, I'm so glad you joined me. Rosa, Chip, Manuela, is everybody, is everybody still here? <laughs> Nadia, are you still here? Aponi, are y'all still here too? So yes, sex magic. Linda, you still here? Linda's like, I'm listening, I'm listening, good. You know, that is a, a way to raise your vibrational energy. And having a high vibrational energy projects and you get faster results of what you want to pull in. Okay. So understand that nobody needs to know. Nobody's really supposed to know. Self-pleasure is your business is private. And you know, when you, like I said, you're focusing really on what you want. And as it, the buildup is growing, you're focused on the end result of what you want. Then when you have your happy ending. <laughs> um, you're still focused. You are determined. It's a drive. It's a passion for that situation or thing. The end result of what you want to see, you know, and that's what you do. And you continuously do that. I mean, I know of people practice this every single solitary day, you know, um, I'm not with them. I mean, I know about it from reading about their experiences and whatnot. Yes, that's the whole point. That's the point and purpose. Um, I'm sorry, I can't say your name. Thou, Thalin Famil? Thalin Famil? Does sex magic help you manifest things? That's the purpose of it, is to help you manifest. It raises your energy. And you need to have that high vibrational energy. Manuela, you listening? <laughs> so, yeah. You know, the thing is also in being private. Don't go and tell the world you are practicing 
certain works or having someone do it for you. I'm going to give you a little bit of a reason why. Because a lot of people don't believe in it, don't like it. And if they think any kind of negativity about what you're saying to them, guess what? They are going to throw negative energy towards your working. Not that they realize it and not that you realize it, but their energy is going to interfere in the result of your working for your life. Do you want that? Do you really want that? You know, then it's just going to fall to pieces and you're going to be like, well, my energy was high. I was feeling confident and positive and all this was going great. What happened? Well, you told a hundred people. That's what happened. And they didn't like it. So all those people and all that bad energy that they were thinking about, oh, look what she's doing and blah, blah, blah. And this is what she wants and she shouldn't want that. And that's not right. And this and that. Well, guess what? Guess what? You just soon shot it down out the sky, baby, because that's exactly what the hell happened. That's why you don't tell nobody. You leave that shit to yourself. They don't need to know. They don't need to know. And if you want this, you want what you want. Keep it to yourself. I'm telling you. Yeah, Rose, you've been telling the world you need to not do that. Well, they could, but they're going to throw in that negative energy towards your direction, the direction of the workings you're getting and all this, and it's going to screw it all up. You know, you can't do that. Okay. You simply cannot. And if I, if I do post pictures of workings for clients, nobody knows who it's for. Um, and it's not always that I do, but sometimes I do, uh, but not always. All right. I really don't like doing that. I don't like, I want to do ritual on here. I want to do some type of spell craft on here, but you know, guys, it's a really, I'm a weird cookie when it comes to that. Hey, Lady M, welcome. I'm a weird cookie when it comes to that for those reasons. You know, and the products that I make and the products that I purchase, I really don't want to have to trash because I decided to do this. You know, it's just, yeah, I could do take measures to prevent that. But, and I like to do things as an example. However, Rose, you were able to throw me a super chat. Well, thank you. Maybe, I don't know. That's kind of bizarre on this channel, but thank you. I appreciate it. I really appreciate it. So, you know, it's like one of those things. I'm very private because there is a stigma. And even if I do it on this channel, do y'all know, even just with my tarot channel, I get a lot of flack from weirdos sometimes. It's just ridiculous. So can you imagine you know, if I go all out on here and I really don't want to put my, you know, clients workings that I am involved with actually getting jump started for them. I really don't want to do that live. So it'll be an example, which I do have something I could use as an example to dress candles, stuff like that. But as far as everything I use, I don't want to share that. That's my own private thing. I do this for a living. You know, I'm not going to share all my secrets because they are mine, you know, and it's not that I don't like what I do like to share. You've already seen, you know what I mean? It's already here. Other things I have to keep private because that's just my personal journey. The things that are new that I'm going to do that I've never actually done. I know how to do. I'm not going to show you because <laughs> that for me is going to take everything ounce of my focus. I do not want to be distracted because I am determined this is all going to happen and it's going to happen fast. So that's my intention. And I need every ounce of everything I am in this. Okay. This is two different people. I'm doing a similar working. 
I have to separate the energies. And also, I really am a private girl. Hey, Marge. Can someone post her other channel? Oh, thank you, Rose. If you look up top here, I should have a link to my other channel on my homepage here on YouTube. There should be a link to my other channel. Yeah. You are not an alchemist channel. Oh, I'm not. I'm still on my YouTube, my other one. Well, I'm going to have to switch it. They are connected. I thought I was on the other one, but that's okay. Because what I'm going to do, that's okay, Nadia. Because what I'm going to do is after the stream, I can take it off and put it on that one. It'll be removed from this channel. It's not a big deal. I'll remove it from this channel and move it to the manifestation channel. I did log into the manifestation channel before I came on. And I guess I didn't click on the icon to flip the account. So that's not a problem. I was kind of wondering why I was getting a super chat, like a donation on this channel when I only have like 500 people on the other one. I'm like, what the hell? But maybe it's connected. I don't know. <laughs> but it's not a big deal. Because like I just said, y'all not going to see this anymore on this one. I'll move it. It's not a big deal. I do have it. If you do look up, I should have the link to my second channel up there. Um, I'll put a link below. Well, not if I'm going to remove it, I can't. But I know I have a link to my second channel here on the homepage. It may be hard to see because of the channel art. Well, I'm glad y'all told me I'm still on my tarot channel, but I logged into the other one. <laughs> oh, you found it? Good. I knew it was up there. So, I mean, do you guys understand, though? It's like... You know, I really wanted to address all this. And it's okay that it's being seen on this channel too because a lot of people come to me from this channel. That's fine. You know, but it's going to live on the other channel. <laughs> Are y'all okay? Did I traumatize anyone yet? Did I traumatize anyone at all yet? <laughs> But yeah, Linda, I'm glad you mentioned that because I was like, what the hell? You are enlightened. <laughs> Thank you, Rose. Thank you, Nadia. <laughs> no trauma, just resume. <laughs> so you guys, that's basically it though. You know, I mean, there's a lot to all this stuff and people don't really get that. OK, it's not just bada bing, bada boom, it's done. Doesn't work that way. So, you know, and it takes a lot out of the people who actually do this. It really does. It's a lot of energy. It's a lot of focus and it will drain you like doing tarot. I don't just read the cards, okay? I feel the message. is It's just an intuitive thing. The cards help. They are an assist, but they're not all of it, you know? And it's just, that has to be understood. You know, okay, who was it that asked me um, a question? A yes or no with the pendulum. The pendulum said one thing, but I felt a different way. I felt something different. So I went with my gut. I went with my intuition, not the pendulum. 
And that's how I do it. You know, one works with spirit. Correct. Correct. But if you don't believe in it, it's never going to work. It's never going to work if there is no faith, if there's no belief. Okay. So do understand that, that you literally are barring that door. You are literally boarding it up and saying, nope. Now prove it. Well, no, it's not going to happen that way. You know, if you can't welcome it, it's just not going to happen. If you can't believe in it, it's not going to happen. So understand belief, faith, all that is, it plays a part in the intention. Okay. Manuela, you know, I'm sure y'all can tell when I am drained. Yes, it is spirit led. That is true. That is absolute. That's the way it is, you know, and and I'm sure Lady M and others of you who have perhaps practiced different different uh, workings. Hey, Samantha, um, understand that there are communications that we receive from our spirit guides that. Truly, only we could decipher, understand, and recognize as an actual message or a verification of the work is happening. It's being done. It's going through. I'm doing this. I'm here. This is me saying hi. I got it. And um, so, Lady M, I know that you are very familiar with that. Many people have not agreed with me, but I honestly think one is born with the gift. One just learns is not the same, right? Because when one is born with it, it comes naturally. That is true. I don't see why anybody would not agree on that because I feel that that is absolutely true. And you can look back as an adult, you know, as an adult, you look back from when you were a child. And things that little experiences that you may have gone through or that happened that really weren't normal or, you know, considered normal to other people were just everyday life for you. And it wasn't until you were older that did you understand and realize it was a thing. It was something more than just normal everyday things. Like when I was a kid, I used to knot everything. Everything was in knots for me. I don't care what it was. If I could tie it in a knot, everything was in knots, multiple knots. Knots, 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 knots. Everything would be in a knot. Everything would be in a knot. And I never <laughs> thought anything of it. Um, I had feelings of different things. But I thought everybody had that and it didn't. It wasn't a thing for me. Um, you know, just things of this nature, different energies, uh, beliefs that I had going back, you know, from as far as I can remember anyway. Um, looking at it now. You know, I there were those signs, there were those differences Right. Right. I was fearful of a lot of stuff when I was young. I'm telling you. And then when I was really afraid, um, I would go <laughs> and lay in the tub, like empty bathtub. I would go find the bath. I'd go in the bathroom and like get in the bathtub <laughs> close the shower curtain and just, I felt safe. And it wasn't because of a tornado. Okay. <laughs> um, they said when I was little that I used to talk to myself, but I wasn't talking to myself, you know, and not everybody thought that there was some that made comments. Why is she talking to herself now? Mind you, I was about three years old, you know, I was told this by my family um, that the comment was made 
by another member of the family in particular that they thought I was crazy because I was talking to myself. I was like three. And I did that so much. And <laughs> I'd also make up words like that don't exist and tell them what the words meant. Like this is, this is da, 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 da. This is what it means. And they were like, okay, <laughs> you know, so, you know, they, the women in my family were of course accepting and knew what it was. Other people didn't. And I didn't know anything was going on. I, I truly did not, you know, but yeah, even talking about it, you feel like, I know that must look very strange to some people. <laughs> You've seen shadow people, right? You know, and I, you know, it's, it's one of those things that when we're very young, most of us, if not all, have someone who protects us, who puts it out into the world, into the universe to keep us safe, to guard us, and to surround and keep us. So I had that uh, for sure, you know, which carried on and on throughout my life, that protection. So yeah. And during all that, though, there are those scary little things you can't quite explain. Speaking of, you know, Lady M, you said when you were four, you heard, um, you were telling your grandmother, you heard people calling your name. When I was about 15 or 16, I was asleep and um, this started happening. This happened off and on for a few months. This was not every night, but it happened off and on. And I had a very long closet with those sliding doors okay in my bedroom and I'd keep the doors open a lot of the time because I was in and out of my closet you know teenager and I would just leave the doors open I mean it was nobody was in there but me anyway so in the middle of the night like the wee hours a lot of times I would hear and I I remember sitting up in bed and like, where in the hell is that coming from? And I thought, man, I'm just hearing shit. Then I'd hear it again. It was coming out of that closet. Boo. Do you know how fast this girl grabbed the pill of the blanket and took off out of that, out of that room? Uh, pretty damn quick. I promise. I don't even think a person could have blinked as fast as I ran. Tell me I scared the shit out of me. When I was younger, my mother said I had an imaginary friend. I always try, I always talk to and would go everywhere with me. But in my eyes, they weren't imaginary. You really saw them. Yeah. Linda says I was told to never answer when you hear someone call your name. I always heard it at night. Hell, I never answered, Linda. I was shitting scared. Girl, let me tell y'all something. This, me, let me tell you what. I've gotten used to certain things over the years, over time, different experiences I've had. Um, I used to I work for many, many years uh, running two businesses that were haunted by spirits that did not cross over. And everybody who worked there knew that. That didn't scare me. OK, I guess because I was never alone, you know, but I could tell you this in this house, you know, in my other house that I had prior to this one. I've had the knocks and I mostly get that knocks, uh, orbs, energies, uh, hot spots, cold spots, um, which I'm trying to still get through the hot spots like cold. Yes. Hot. Where is that coming from? So. I try not to think a whole lot into it, um, but it comes to you later, okay? And I'm used to that sort of a stuff. Baby, let me just tell you this. I don't want to see nothing. And when I hear things, it's not, it's not like I'm speaking to you now. So that doesn't bother me. That's normal for me. But 
I don't want to see shit ta. And you know, I have been so aggravated. I will tell you a little trick. <laughs> I have been so annoyed with, sometimes I get aggravated when I hear like certain knocks or something like that. And I'll be like, if you got that much energy, we need to clean this house. You can take a room, pick something. You're going to help me clean this house. You're going to help me do shit around here. If you got that kind of energy, get to work because you can help me around here. Like, don't think I never said it. <laughs> I used to say it at work too. You got that kind of energy? <laughs> Dishes need to be done. We need shit picked up in the back. <laughs> I, I tell you what, I promise you I said it and I promise you all that craziness would stop for that moment. You know, and that's a fact. I said, get to work, boo. You got that kind of energy I could use you. <laughs> <laughs> oh hell no manuela screw that in a bag of chips uh-uh ladybug get us straight start paying rent damn right get a job you know you get that kind of energy come on <laughs> you see so it looks like all of us have experiences in some form of fashion you know, and Lady M says, and I need dinner done and laundry. Correct. What about grocery shopping? We can write the list out. <laughs> it's just to say shit, you know, let's be productive here. <laughs> so Sky, you're saying you can see spirits. So is this something you've always Apparently, I feel like it's something you've always had. Because like Lady M said, I do truly feel a lot of people, you're born with it. Other people work to develop it. And I think it's harder for them. I really don't know. I feel like I've, you know, just grown with it, you know, and in different levels. As a child, you think with a child's mind. So things come to you as a child could understand, I guess or that's acceptable to a child. Um, and as you get older and you become educated and you are experiencing life and people explain things to you, um, then you have a better understanding of what's happening and what has happened. Um, They are laughing about us that we are crazy. That's okay too. I like happy spirits. Happy spirits are good spirits. So, you know, guys, so Lady M, you can see them as well, is what I'm understanding. I've been seeing bird pigeon feathers everywhere. Actually, Chip, I understand that to be very, very good. You know, I've always understood it to be very good to see feathers. You know, different color feathers, different types of feathers mean certain things it's from what I'm understanding. But pigeons, wouldn't that be some type of a message from, you know, your ancestors, a certain relative that perhaps you were very close to or that they had a connection with pigeons being maybe they admired pigeons or fed pigeons in a park or something like that. You know, there's always some kind of a connection. There's always a reason. It's never a coincidence, you know. Yeah, Sky, you got to be careful with that. You know, and I don't want to see nothing and I don't want them to see me. I like to take a shower and feel comfortable that nobody's watching. <laughs> That's great. That's great. I have the smell too. Sometimes I can smell certain things, but it's only, it's not all the time. Like when my grandmother passed away, you know, I can still smell her scent. And um, 
like in her bedroom or bathroom, you know, her natural, beautiful, beautiful scent of her skin. And I would smell her often. And I knew she was with me. I went in her bedroom one day and after she passed and I smelled flowers and I knew, you know, my grandmother was a very devout woman. Um, and I knew it was her. It was her presence. I felt it. And you feel that warm love. You know who that is, you know, and I know I have protections that I have had since a child and that will always be. Um, so someone done, someone done, someone had done some of my Akashic records. Um, and from what they can see that I have extra spirit guides. <laughs> I have like nine protectors that have always been with me. Um, I have different guides. Like, I think I have, she, what did she say? 12, 11, 12, something like that. And it's just, apparently these were protections that were given to me by source before birth. Um, according to my Akashic records and according to what I feel is right and believe in the way I see things manifest in my life. Um, and looking back on things, I do absolutely believe it because I feel it. And I mean, I've experienced it. If you mess up with bad thoughts or negative energy, can you fix it? Yes, you can. You can fix that ladybug as long as you don't dwell in the negative. You can have passing negative thoughts, but when you recognize it, say, no, uh-uh. Change it. Talk yourself back into the positive. Yes, I mean, we're not perfect, but yes, you can still manifest if you do start to have doubts and negative thoughts what the importance of that is, is to stop, say, okay, no, we're not doing that today. We're not doing that. This is how this is going to happen. This is happening like this, and this is what's going to be. And then you are telling yourself, reminding yourself to get back into that state, okay, that positive state. One grows in our ancestors and loved one guide. Yes, they do. They truly do. Yes, it you know, it's all good things, but in the spirit realm, okay, you are susceptible and there are portals to all spirits coming in. Spirits that are bad do lie <laughs> to try to trick you um, into trusting them. The more you trust them, the more you communicate with them, the more communication happens between you and the spirit, the more power they get. You follow me. So you have to be very careful. And protections are very, very, very. Yeah. That's a good way to put it, Manuela. Yeah. Right, right. So Nadia, your experiences don't bother you. You know, most of us are so used to different things, nuances and different little, you know, just certain things we're used to, we can live with and we can overlook. Um, it's sort of like living in a harmony and that's okay. Yeah, you get used to it. You know, and that and that's fine. Personally, I don't want to see anything as far as in front of me. I see enough. <laughs> I don't need to see any more. Um, and that's something that I absolutely refuse. I don't want to see it before me. Okay, I don't. 
And do not touch me. <laughs> do not. <laughs> no. Uh -uh. That's a little different. Now, I've had visions of certain things that to this day, I'm still. I know what it means. And yet, you know, with me being one of these, I want to break it down to the, the crumb. I'm very analytical. I'm a very analytical Sagittarius. <laughs> um, I really want, I have questions and all this other stuff, but I have to trust. I have to trust my feelings. Oh, thank you, KJ. I am. Who am I? Hans 57, KJ. Um, Castilian, Spanish, French, and Mexican. That's what my nationality, my ethnic background is. Highly possible, Nadia. Yeah. Correct, Lady M. You feel it. You absolutely feel it. Oh, thank you, KJ. A lot of makeup. A lot of makeup. <laughs> I thank you. Let's see. Clinique Makeup thanks you. MAC Cosmetics thanks you. <laughs> But being spiritual is a good thing. Nobody, and you know, the thing is, everybody has the right to be who they want to be and practice what they want to practice. But don't try, you know, I'm not here trying to shove anything I believe in or do down anybody's throat. Um, not at all. And, you know, everybody to me, live it, live it peaceful and live it true. You know, never try to force it on people, educate them about it so they can make up their own choice of what they want to do, what they want to practice and how they want to practice whatever religion or spiritual path they choose, you know, um, but to each his own thing. And that's how I feel. Oh, thank you, Lady M. Thank you. I'm not so beautiful when I'm pissed, I, I must admit. <laughs> but I thank you all very much. You feed my ego. <laughs> you really do. <laughs> I appreciate it very, very much. And I didn't mean that in a facetious way at all. Thank you, Rose. Y'all are all very, very kind to me. And I really appreciate that. You know, you're learning a lot, Ladybug. Good. I see what I need to focus and change. Yeah. And it's, you know, trial and error for everyone. You know, and that's how I feel and believe too. You know, it's, it's all about what you feel is right. Follow that path because that's where you belong. You know, it's true. Right. When you pray, you ask God for blessings for that day. Send you the angels, guidance, ancestors, martyrs, because they've gone through a lot. And disciples and apostles, saints to help me always. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. The ascended masters have existed here before you can call upon them for assistance. The Huna masters or... Very similar, like the best way I can explain for those of you who never heard of Huna is it's an ancient Hawaiian. Um, the Huna prayer is an ancient Hawaiian prayer for manifestation. OK, and they, <clears throat> excuse me, they have or had Huna masters that were like priests, similar to like the Dalai Lama. Imagine the Dalai Lama, very similar energy field to that. Okay. Uh, and they were called Huna masters and they were all about ascension and doing all this stuff, but they weren't like doing human sacrifice and all this other stuff. It was all about the law of the universe and, you know, working with the law of the universe and energy to manifest great things, not only for your individual life, but for your environment, for everyone as a whole. And they taught that. 
And I mean, there are many other things, but that is mainly what I researched with them. And I'm going to tell you something, that stuff, it works. Why would I not believe in it? I've learned about this. I've studied this for years. Why would I not believe in it? It's been proven to work. Why would I not believe in it? That's silly. You know, just some things do take longer than other things. Why? Because it's got more loops and obstacles and detours to take. It doesn't make it just a lost cause. It's not true. It is coming. Be patient. Just be patient. Well, you guys, I'm going to have to go. But I thank you all so very much for tonight. I really do. I really love these chats. I love, love, love talking about this. Um, and I am going to move this video once YouTube does have it properly uploaded. Um, I'm going to move it to my Manifestation Alchemy Witchcraft Formulas channel to live in that channel. Not in this one. Because I may get flack for it from other people who don't like this. And, you know, also, I don't want to screw up the YouTube algorithm <laughs> with the tarot channel. Um, yes, it was, Linda. It really was a great discussion tonight. And I am very grateful for all of you to be here and share this with me. Because I do want you to have an understanding. I'm not here worshiping the devil. I'm not here um, casting everybody into hell. I'm not here doing all that. You know, when I do works for people, I am not doing things that some people imagine I'm doing. You know, that kind of a thing. You know, but thank you so very much. I thank you all for being open-minded. I thank you all for... Oh, my God, Jada. Holy crap. I'm so excited. Oh, my God. Finally. Finally. Jesus. Oh, finally. Yes. Yes. Jada, I, I need a glass of wine on this one. I'm celebrating for your shit. <sighs> Y'all, I've been telling Jade, I've been waiting on this. <sighs> For the love of all things holy, she talked to the boy. What happened, Jada? Girl, you got to tell me before I roll. You got to tell me. Yes, Linda. Absolutely. And look, research more of it. It's freaking amazing. It's amazing. It really is. It's safe. It really is. It's what you make of it. It's what you make of it. It's beautiful. It's what you make of it. Now, remember, hoodoo is a practice, not a religion, you know, but it's absolutely fantastic. All right, Jada, spill, spill. It wasn't as awkward as I thought. I told him about the stuff I heard his friends say, and I just told him the truth. And yeah, Nadia Tala, give us the scoop. Thank you, Lady M. Thank you for sharing too. And we are all here to learn from one another. That is absolutely correct. Jada, spill it. That's right. Linda Tala, work that... <laughs> <laughs> Working, Jada. Woohoo! I thanked him for standing up for me. Oh my God, yes! And he said, "Thank me for telling him the truth." Yes, <sighs> Jada. I am so proud. Oh my gosh, Jada! Holy, holy mackerel! Jada, I am so proud. You have no clue how freaking proud of you I am because what you have done, oh my God, what you have done, you have opened the door. Jada, you have opened the door, girl. Yes, praise the Lord. <laughs> I'm so excited. Jada, this is 
Fantastic. I'm so happy. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Whew. That's right. He wasn't a, as awkward, even though I just walked away. Yes. And he's really sweet. Yes, he is. Yes, Jada. Yes, she opened the door, Manuela, Linda, you guys. She opened the freaking door. Whew, I've been waiting for this. <laughs> Jada, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I'm so proud and I cannot wait to share this with Clara. She will be so proud of you also. I'm so absolutely proud. You took the biggest step. You took it. Very proud of you. Baby steps, but you know what? You did it. The hardest step is the first step, and you took that. You did it, and you freaking worked it. You did. You have success, my love. You really did it. You did it. So proud. I am truly. I feel excited and relieved. Like I am freaking stoked for you. Totally. I am serious. This is awesome. I'm very happy. Yep. Pull it out. Pull out that champagne. No matter what happens. Oh, hell no. Uh -uh. I ain't no no matter what happens. <laughs> Wrong answer, Jada Love. Wrong answer because something's going to happen, boo-boo. Get ready, baby. Oh, hell to the yes, boo-boo. Yes. <laughs> this is step number one. You will have step number two. And I don't give a damn what we got to do. You are going to do this. That door is open. <gasps> this is fabulous. <laughs> I can't wait for my little peanuts I have. Joyce to help for sex <laughs> to run its <laughs> Watch how you say that. <laughs> Oh, that is too funny, Manuela. That is too funny. <laughs> oh, y'all. You see, we have an amazing family here. Oh, I just love you guys. I really, really do. And I love how you uplift each other. You support each other. You support me. Uplift me. You know, you, you guys are awesome. I am so blessed. When I was in my department, I saw him watching me and when I turned my... Aha! Uh -huh. Beautiful Jada. Yes, my baby. He is watching. Our Bayou Tribe, I absolutely love. Ladybug, don't look at it as you messed up. Just get right back on track. You are fine. Do not look at this as a mess up. Whatever this was that you did, get back on track and move forward. Don't look back. Get back on track and move forward, forward, forward. And I'm so glad you did too. You know, Ladybug, I'm so glad you found us too. Yes, Cheers <laughs> with my Red Bull because I don't have any any champagne on me at this moment. <laughs> Thank you, Apony. I, I hope so. I really hope so. You deserve to be uplifted, you know, and you deserve to have a good life. You deserve love. You deserve to give and receive love. And, you know, 
when you do things like that in a positive direction, you're going to get that positive. Do understand that. Thank you. Thank you so much. I I don't know how to say your name. Kitsuni? Kitsunix? I'm not sure. But please forgive me for saying it wrong because I know I'm botching it and I don't mean to, but I want you to know I'm speaking to you saying thank you. Thank you. You are going to be fine, Jada. This is the beginning. I want you to know this is the beginning of something really good for you. Stay calm, but be excited. Keep that energy up. Jada, I'm telling you, he's yours. I'm telling you, think of the end result. Focus on what you want to see happen between you and this man. I'm telling you, the door is there and the interest is there. I'm telling you right now. Listen to me. Have faith, baby. It's happening. You opened that door today. You swung those fringe doors open, girl. Woo! I'm so happy. I'm happy too, Nadia. I'm so glad that I found you guys. You found me because this is amazing. You know, this is a great unity that we have here. It's a great, great family we have built. And that we are still building. Yes. I think it's amazing. Nadia, you do have it, love. You do have it coming. You guys, Linda, oh, I'm telling you guys. You know, y'all have it coming. Please believe that and be patient. It's happening. It is. I promise. And just like Jada, you're going to see it. Okay? You're going to see it. I promise. I promise you. Yes, it is, Sav Saggy. Well, guys, thank you so much. I hate to jump off of here, but I really need to go. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. I really do. That's right, Manuela. That's right. But I'm going to see you guys again tomorrow. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And hopefully we can all be back together again here tomorrow night. All right, guys, thank you so much, and I love you all, and that's it. Y'all guys have a night that's great and blessed. Manifest something awesome. All right, guys, sleep well, and let me see if I can get off of this stream because it's not really letting me log off. Let me see if I can make that work. My screen does silly things sometimes. So I'm trying to make the stream in. I may have to do it another way. Yo, I'm telling you, one day I'm going to have. Okay, here we go. Now, now. It's like the little, my camera on here moves. And it gets on my nerves when it does that. All right. Good night, guys.